Welcome back to our series on the history of GF. Today we take a look at this. The iconic GF logo, which is known the world over and stands for the quality of GF products. But um, what does it actually mean? And where do the two crosses come from? Well, I'll tell you in a moment, but let's start from the beginning, uh, almost 140 years ago. On December 23, 1881, at three o'clock in the afternoon, the Federal Office for Trademarks confirmed the registration of the Georg Fischer trademark. A uh, fish like in the family name Fischer and below it the initials GF. And then, on a price list from 1887, the cross appears for the first time. Initially just one cross. And this cross stands for nothing else than this. The cross fitting made of malleable cast iron. This product uh, was introduced on the market in 1864 and some 20 years later in 1887 it uh, was already that famous that it became part of the company's trademark. The last representative of the founding family Fischer, Georg Fischer III, left the company in 1902. The name Georg Fischer remained in the company name. However, the now independent company, which soon went public, had a new trademark registered in 1903 as a sign of the transformation. The initials GF were now surrounded by two crosses on the left and right. As popularity of GF products grew, so did the needs to protect the brand internationally. Until 1909, the trademark was registered in no less than 20 countries, primarily in Europe, including Russia, but also overseas in Australia, New Zealand, East India and Argentina. In 1915, it was registered in the United States and in 1920 in China. Since then, for over a century, the GF logo has remained and uh, changed only in details. In order to standardize the marketing appearance, in 1930 standard fonts and sizes were defined. Just the color continued to vary according to subject and context. In 1986, this colorful use was stopped by a company-wide corporate identity. The logo was given the color blue and a new font as it is known today. To conclude this episode, I would like to share a rather odd document with you from the archives records. In uh, the year 1926, a certain Baroness Tibulka in Vienna sent an unsolicited letter to the company with a specially created design to replace the existing GF brand, asking that her creativity be rewarded with an appropriate sum. GF politely thanked her for the letter, but remained faithful to the already well-established logo. This logo has literally burned itself into the corporate identity of GF ever since. But have a look yourself. With the following sequence of a video on a casting process from the 1960s, I say goodbye and see you soon. <laughs>